Hey YouTube. Um, another one of my little mid-surgery videos um, for me Audi TT. Right. So what I'll do is this light here. It comes on randomly. At the moment, I've just turned it on with the traction control. This light will randomly come on. Um, just with, with no explanation whatsoever. Now, um, I've done some reading online on forums and things like that, and um, I found out it's the, that sensor just there. It's on my one. It's on the left-hand side of the uh, driver's uh, the steering column. So just down here, if you look in, I've taken this panel down and that's the sensor just there the one inside the gold bracket not that one on top this one right here um, I can't actually remember the name of it but I'll double check it and put um, put the name in um, it comes up with codes like G200 uh, that's it, it's the lateral acceleration sensor uh, I believe so that's what I've been, uh, you know, that's that's what I've been told to change, or that's what I've taken a look into. Um, I managed to get myself one. This is the one here. This funny little thing. Excuse my uh, high vis uh, <laughs> pajamas. This is um, sleeping clothes. But um, so this is the sensor that I've got. Now Audi wanted 600 and something pound for this, so I rang it. I don't know if the guy was actually just being a bit of an ass, but yeah, this is this is the one. Um, eBay, they they're anything from 40 to 80 quid, depending on you know who you've got. I went to my local scrapyard, picked this one up for a tenner. Um, not sure 100%. You know what it's going to be like the car that i took it off had 100k on it um, which is quite similar to my own well i've got 91 um, but yeah let's take a look let's get it changed over now the only thing i've done so far is unclip this from here so this has some screws on the side one which with one of these which this this one here this one here one that's down here which wasn't on my car anyway but these three will be one in here and there one in there one in there and then this panel should just come down now I'm gonna try and do this without having to take the whole panel off because it is very difficult to get that panel back in right then so, yeah. let's get started so I've got to try and do this with one hand while holding the camera. So let's sensor that. Now the first step is literally it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Um it's more just prizing it open. That's not very clear, so give me a sec. There we go. I think that's a bit better to see. So it's just literally there you go, flicked it open now I've got to get my hand in there okay I was going to show you guys that I've taken it off but I literally just put my hand on there because um, I needed to use two hands um, the wire is still attached so I'm just going to go in there with both hands disconnect the wire um, which is a plug on the uh, which is clipped in the the is fastened on the other side of the clip of the of the, of the plug so just about here if you can see where I'm indicating so this is the side of the plug it's on the opposite side just there a little um a little push and the plug should come out so give me a sec I'm actually really excited about this because 
I'm one of those people who doesn't like having warning lights and things like that. It's not actually, it does, for those of you who've got it, you realize it's, it doesn't actually affect the drive of it at all. It's literally just an annoying thing on the dash. So I don't know if, if that can be shown. So yeah, you can see. That's the, that's the plug and just where my middle finger is there, that's the, that's where we're going to disconnect the plug from. And the new one going in. And literally just a reverse of what I've just done. Get the plug and I'm going to pop it back in. Now, the issue, if, if I show you guys, this is what I had. So earlier, you could see that this light went off. Now it's not, regardless of if I press the ESP. And it wasn't happening at the time, but um, that's what basically, that's what I was getting. It would come on and off and just have mine of its own, really. Um, now it's constantly on, even if I'm pressing the ESP button. Once I plug this in, with a bit of luck, hopefully that won't come back. Unless, of course, it needs to. So let's take a look. Installing it is just a reverse of what I've just done. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Right. New sensor in. No lights on. He's a bit screen wash, but I can sort that out. I think that's the least of my worries at the moment. There's the new sensor in there. Until I've got a different marking on it, yeah. Um, one thing I did do was play around with the wires a little bit to see if that I used to kick in the fault sometimes, but a tad bit of a prod. No, yeah, all seems fine. See if anything changes. Keep you guys posted. Hope it helps. And a results video just to confirm, nothing on there. Got my screen was sorted as well. I've been driving like this for a few days now with that new sensor in there and the light hasn't come back once so yeah peace at last.